Hello, today is the 31st. It's actually tonight. It's like 9, 10 on the 31st of January. And being that tomorrow is February 1st and I didn't read any books today because I didn't want to start one. I'm weird about that. I don't like to start one on one month and finish it on the next month. So anyways, but I need to have something to read tomorrow. So I really wanted to do my TBR today. So even though it's nighttime, I'm going to do it so that I know what I'm going to read tomorrow. So I usually do the wheel and I decided to not do the wheel. I, and today during my lunch break at work, I wrote down how many did I come up with I came up with like 43 prompts so far and if I think I'm more I'll put them in and I wrote them on pieces of paper I'm gonna get a better jar but right now I just have this little this little lamb thing but anyway so all these prompts in here I'm gonna pull six prompts one prompt I actually doubled because I have Kindle Unlimited and I was like I don't use it enough so I'm going to put that prompt in there twice in hopes that I get it. We'll see if I do. So, all right. So, um, in my last video, I kind of told you what I read last month. So I'm not going to jump into that. I'm just going to only do the tea reader today. Oh, hello. My dog's visiting. So let's hope that this goes quick because I do have one of my prompts is like an alley pick. So because I'm filming this at night trying to get it over with I'm probably if I get that one I'll put it back in use it a different day I'm excited to use that one someday but it's just not not today so let's see what we get so we're gonna pick one, oops I guess that's the one since it jumped out at me all right first one is a middle grade hmm oh no of course I'm gonna pick one that I don't have any of I really need to go book shopping because um, some of these I put on here, even though they're books that I'm not really necessarily interested in reading. I'm going to have YA. I could pick, then I could pick a YA instead. Do you think this one or like this one? Or do I repick? That is bad news when I repick first thing. I'm gonna repick because I don't have any white or any middle grades right now. I'm going to go book shopping as soon as possible. So I really just want to get through my TBR so I don't want to buy new books for it. So we're gonna start. We're gonna pretend like that one didn't get picked, okay? Start a new series. I'm gonna start a new series. The only ones I have on here that are series that, like that's the middle of a series, that's the middle of a series. These, okay, so there, are, there's one right here. It's a, I have a book one and a book two that I'm, I've not necessarily been extremely enthused about, but I guess now is as good a time as any to go ahead and try it and see if I like it. If not. I know to unhaul both of them. This is the only one I have that is a series that I can start. So we're going to go with this one, Ashton Park. And what, I mean, what if I love it? You just never know. All right. Oh, I almost dropped the jar. I mean the bowl. <clears throat> An author I love. <laughs> None of these are actually authors I love. Hmm. Okay, out of the ones I have, I can say ones that I know I've liked before. So I have liked 
um, Melissa De La Cruz, and I have liked Alexander Bracken. So, let's do this one. We're going to do the third book of the Alex and Eliza trilogy. So, that's two books. Go number three. Under 250 pages. <laughs> I'm just not doing well. I don't think any of these are under 250 pages. None of them are, and none of my Kindle Unlimited ones are. So we're just going to have to, under 250 pages. Do you have one I can choose? That's probably the first one. I can see if I have any of that art. Ooh. What is this? That's 400 and something. Like, this one looks skinny, but, like, it must yeah. be thin pages, you know? That one's 294. And I've been wanting to read it, but I just can't bring myself to start it. So you can tell me if it's worth starting. Okay. So I don't have one that's under 250 pages. But this is the closest we can find. It's 294. It's going to have to work for this time. Until I get more books. I need to get more books. Alright. So next. <clears throat> a low rated book. I have looked on my phone before to see what books. Where's my phone? I don't know what I did with that. Is it up here? Oh, that's right. Um, I've looked before to, to find one that's low rated. Hold on a minute. Okay. Let me look on Goodreads and see what some of these are rated. Um, I the problem is I don't have I don't have all of them on my um, want to read on Goodreads, so that makes it difficult. So according to this on here. The lowest one on, I have on here, I think, is Cinderella's Dress. Okay, so I think that this one and this one, neither of them are too low, but um, according to what I have like listed, Cinderella's Dress and this watermelon one. So we're going to pick this one, and we'll just go with that for now. So that's four. So two more. Let's see what this one says. An odd page number. It's going to end on an odd page number. So let's see. What? Does this end on? It's even. Here we go. This one's 221. I've actually never read this. I like John Green, so we'll try it. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so one more book. And I'm done for the night. I think I grabbed two. Put one back. All right. A mood read. Just something I'm in the mood to read. So, I'm actually... I've been in the mood to try this one. So we're just going to pick it. And, um... I have the liberty to change it because it is a mood read. I have the liberty to change it if I feel to do so. So that's put those away. So that's what I have for my TBR this month. I'm not too um, hopeful, to be honest, but we'll see how it goes and. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.